All right, commas with the word and, right? We want to put a comma in front of the word and, right? So this is like an independent clause, right? If it's connecting two clauses, not really in a list situation, right? If what technically occurs after and could stand on its own as a sentence, right? And will make this dependent. But if I can read what's after and and in theory could stand on its own as a sentence, I'll use a comma in front of it, right? So answer choice A. So if I have ran to her mother, ran to her mother is not an independent clause. So A is going to be gone, right? Um, so look at answer choice B, right? The girl fell off the bike and ran to her mother. It's the same thing without this comma, so it's going to be left. We're going to be left with answer choice B, obviously having to be correct, right? But to disprove C and D, C would be like the girl fell off her bike, independent clause. Then she ran to her mother, independent clause. Run on. That's no good, right? Um, and then D would be, you know, also I C comma and I C. Or sorry, this sorry this one answer choice D is I C and. I see. In this instance, we would have to have a comma, and D does not have that right there. So D is going to be gone, right? And answer choice B, we don't need a comma because this is the girl fell off the bike, independent, and ran to her mother, not independent. So no comma there. Answer choice B.